out. These fearsome machines are capable of almost 200 miles an hour in seven seconds. They're 500 horsepower and fueled by nitromethane. At 35 pounds a gallon, it's an expensive business, particularly when one run can burn up three gallons. But these men seem unconcerned. They've come from all over the world for this meeting. 140 entrants began qualifying today for the finals on Sunday. The bikes take a massive amount of maintenance. The speeds they're capable of mean that they're also likely to disintegrate fairly regularly. The cost a staggering 50,000 pounds a bike, so a benevolent sponsor is needed. Last year's winner has a somewhat laid back view of his sport. It's like anything else, it's, uh, everybody's got something that they like to do and uh, me, I'm kind of limited to things I can do and I, I build good motors, make nice motorcycles, enjoy showing what I do. It's a very technical sport, a lot of people don't realise, but it's very fine tuning needed to go fast and keep it together. So you've got to be a fast man, a brave man, and also a bit of a technician? Oh, you've got to be every bit the technician. Um, I think it's, it, uh, the public don't realise quite how much technology is in these machines. Uh, we spend about 40 hours in between meetings on pure, simple maintenance without any repairs. Before each run, the bikes have to burn out. That means their tyres must get hot and tacky for the race ahead. Sweden's Stefan Reisten is one of this weekend's stronger challengers. There are two classes of dragster motorcycle, superbike and pro stock, and both classes will be in action this weekend. Last year's track record here was 196 miles an hour in seven seconds. If the rain holds off and the wind isn't too strong, that could easily go. But remember, earmuffs might be a good investment if you intend going.